Here's a differential equation that seems pretty innocent at first sight, but it turns out this differential equation is a pretty good example of why it's best not to judge a book by its cover. So let's just dive right in and notice that this is a separable differential equation. So you can write this as 1 by y dy being equal to the reciprocal of the square root of the tangent of x dx. And because the reciprocal of the tangent is the cotangent of x. We can write this as the square root of the cotangent of x dx. And on the left, we have 1 by y dy. And integrating with respect to the um, respective variables on the left and right hand sides, we get the natural logarithm of y on the left. And on the right, we have this antiderivative problem. We're looking for an antiderivative for the square root of the cotangent of x. And this is where the problem actually starts looking interesting. For reference purposes, we're going to call our integral here i. So i equals the integral of the square root of the cotangent of x dx. And we're going to start off with a substitution by letting the cotangent of x equal u squared. Now this implies on differentiation that negative cosecant squared x dx equals uh, 2u du. And this further implies that dx equals negative 2u du divided by the square of the cosecant of x, which is the uh, square of the cotangent of x plus 1. And the square of the cotangent of x in our case is u to the fourth power. So we have 1 plus u to the fourth power as our denominator. So this transforms our integral i in the u world as the integral of... Now, let's see, the square root of the cotangent of x would be u, correct? And we're multiplying this by a negative 2u. So we have negative 2u squared du divided by 1 plus u to the fourth power. I know the transformed integral itself looks like a pretty formidable adversary. But some simplification will split this into a couple of nicer integrals. And by nicer, I mean relatively easier to evaluate. So first up, I'm going to expand using 1 by u squared. So I have the negative sign outside. 2u squared times 1 by u squared upstairs and the same thing downstairs. So this has the benefit of transforming the integral into the negative of the integral of 2 du divided by u squared plus 1 by u squared. Next up, I'm going to make use of this factor of 2 upstairs and expand it as 1 plus 1. And there is never any harm in adding a 0, right? So the version of 0 that I want to add here is 1 by u squared minus 1 by u squared. So I can write the numerator now as 1 plus 1 by u squared plus 1 minus 1 by u squared. And using the linearity of the integration operator gives me i being equal to the negative of the integral of 1 by 1 plus u squared divided by u squared plus 1 by u squared du minus the integral of 1 minus 1 by u squared divided by u squared plus 1 by u squared du. And I can factor out a negative sign and I can name these integrals respectively as i sub 1 and i sub 2. So I'm now looking for the sum of the integrals i sub 1 and i sub 2. Starting off with the integral i sub 1, our goal here is to express the numerator as the differential element of some other variable, say t. So we want this to be dt. And for that, we're going to need a suitable substitution. So starting with the end in mind and working backwards, to get this structure for the differential element, I'm going to have to let u minus 1 by u equal to t. So this will imply the structure, the required structure for the differential element. And now what about the denominator? How does this transform in the t world? Well, for that, you could just square this equation here, which will imply that u squared plus 1 by u squared minus 2 equals t squared. So that means u squared plus 1 by u squared, in fact, equals t squared plus 2. So our integral transforms quite nicely in the t world. We now have the integral of dt divided by u squared, oh, sorry about that, t squared plus 2. 
and this is the familiar arctangent integral so this evaluates to 1 by the square root of 2 times the inverse tangent of t divided by the square root of 2 and now we're going to have to work our way backwards into the u world and the x world so remembering that t was in fact um u minus 1 by u right so we have u minus 1 by u divided by the square root of 2 and you can simplify this by writing it as u squared minus 1 divided by u times the square root of 2 and u was in fact the square root of the cotangent right so finally we have i sub 1 being equal to 1 by a square root of 2 times the inverse tangent of cotangent x minus 1 divided by twice uh, the square root of twice the cotangent of x. For our second integral i sub 2 again the target is to express the differential element as uh, some other differential element say d phi. So if I want 1 by 1 minus uh, 1 minus 1 by u squared du to be equal to d phi I'm gonna have to let um, u plus 1 by u equal to phi. And similarly, this will imply that u squared plus 1 by u squared equals phi squared minus 2. So once again, we have a really nice transformation from the u world to the phi world, which implies that i sub 2 now equals the integral of d phi divided by phi squared minus 2. And a nice partial fraction decomposition will yield... Um, phi minus 2 here minus phi plus 2 here uh, no wait the square root of 2 yeah the square root of 2 much better and yeah we just need some ones in the uh, numerators and to balance things out I'm gonna need a factor of 1 by 2 times the square root of 2 so yeah that's that's right that's right so we have 1 by 2 times the square root of 2 and evaluating these integrals gives me logarithms, right? So we have logarithm phi minus uh, square root 2 and minus another logarithm. So you can just combine their arguments as the logarithm of a quotient. So we have log phi minus square root 2 divided by phi plus the square root of 2. Okay, cool. And once again, we're going to have to work our way back into the x world. So we have 1 by uh, 2 times square root 2 times logarithm... Uh, phi was in fact u plus 1 by 2, right? So u plus 1 by 2 plus the square root of 2. You know what? You can just multiply upstairs and downstairs by u. So that gives me u squared plus twice uh, square root 2 times u, right? So uh, no, minus, minus square root 2 times u or u times the square root of 2. Yeah, better for presentation purposes u squared plus u times square root 2 plus 1 and u was again the square root of the cotangent so we have 1 by 2 times square root 2 logarithm cotangent x minus uh, the square root of twice the cotangent of x plus 1 divided by the cotangent of x plus the square root of twice the cotangent of x plus 1 wow so far, this has been a tricky integration extravaganza, and I've enjoyed it. So, recalling that your target integral i was the negative of the sum of these two integrals, so that means you have negative, the first integral was 1 by 2 times square root 2, inverse tangent, cotangent x um, minus 1, yeah, minus 1 divided by the square root of 2 times the uh, cotangent of x. Okay, nice. And add to it the logarithm. Using the properties of the logarithm, you can express this as an exponent of the argument, so that's what I'm going to do. The logarithm of cotangent x minus square root 2 cotangent x plus 1 uh, to the 1 by square root 2. Wait, uh, first divide it by this thing and then say that it's being raised to that exponent that's the grammatically mathematically correct way of you know saying things while teaching uh, i hope i hope i'm making sense yeah i am making sense completely in terms of mathematics but you know in narration anyway so this is your integral i 
and recall that the solution to the, to the differential equation looked like log y being equal to this integral and of course you need a constant of integration. So let me just write this in a nicer manner. We have a logarithm term here and if I express the constant of integration as the logarithm of a constant c, then exponentiation will give me y being equal to e to the negative 1 by square root 2 times the inverse tangent of cotangent x minus 1 divided by the square root of twice the cotangent of x and this will be multiplied by um, wait a second I have a minus sign here that's taken care of and another negative sign here but if I want to express this as a product I'm gonna have to reciprocate the argument to get rid of the negative sign that I have um, I have a plus log something yeah I'm gonna have to reciprocate the argument here so this exponential term multiplied by the cotangent of x plus the square root of twice the uh, cotangent of x okay much better plus 1 divided by the cotangent of x minus the square root of twice the cotangent of x plus 1 all to the 1 by square root 2 -th power uh, and you have this log c term that you can write uh, as a no wait 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 we're exponentiating it right we're exponentiating it so e to the log c in fact equals c okay cool so you have this constant of integration here as well and there you have it that is the solution to your differential equation and wow that was a wild ride i enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed the video as well be sure to like and subscribe thank you see you next time